guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episodes 23 and 24 of Fire Force. Let's go ahead and get started with episode 23 and 3, 2, 1, go. <coughs> Is two still fighting? Of course. Look what he does. I mean, it would be nice if this show ends with him finally officially taking show back for his own. Like, I don't know. Even in your damn in your bloodstream, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, precious baby. Yeah, but no matter how many times you tell someone, they're not going to believe you. Holy shit. Yes, you are. Oh, my God. You say that, but you're lying to yourself.
Oh, I'm so precious. Oh. Oh. <laughs> We're so fucking cute. Oh my God. Oh, shit. So? And of course she did it. <laughs> like seven minutes into the movie. <laughs> Who in the fuck was this, like, for seven, six minutes of this episode? Like, no. I mean, you just, like, warned my heart, and then my son, he gets fucking stabbed. Like, oh my god. I can't. <laughs> but that, that's a good way to open an episode, just saying, but damn. I really thought. I was like, okay, but it felt a little too easy, though. That's like, yeah, bring, get him out of here. But still, felt a little too simple. Something else is gonna pop up, and bam, it happened. Mm. Yeah, I mean, you owe him the right 
to tell him. They just took him out of commission like he was a damn doll. Ah. <laughs> See, Victor, this is why y'all should have ran the fuck away last week. I mean, I would say pull the sword out, but then he's going to bleed even more, so... Strong. And here comes Maki. <laughs> to be so fucking close. And now Shiv's not even himself anymore because of what the fuck she did. You'll get on back. Mm -hmm. I'm going for the seven hours from shit. It's the only person you can get. Thank you.
Just so you <laughs> but it's still a hospital, though. Jesus Christ, man. Few days, shit. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Looking at it by yourself. It's a different one. Yeah. Breaking finally. Oh, my God.
But then why didn't you do anything then? You waited 12 whole years. I don't want to say that's selfish, but shit. That is a little selfish. He would have gone ahead and gone. Even if he possibly died. Seriously? Okay. <laughs> Alright, so the first six, seven minutes of this episode, I mean, Jesus, I wasn't expecting all of that for the first six minutes. But honestly, it was good. Like, to be so close and to literally have him in his arms. Like, oh my god. It was everything that I needed. But then at the same time, him, Shinra getting stabbed predominantly possibly by his brother. Because the way it looked, but then it also because of the fact that he used the thing from last week's episode. And the force and the and ish like that. But oh my god. Just seeing, like. Him and his show his babies and him like go take care of his brother like oh my god that freaking hurt like I got too many feels my baby boy but the chick with the crown using it as a mask it's something to him and now he seems like a doll like his soul and everything is still inside of him but he's not um acting on his own actions you know he's now being objective to do it and stuff like that. So I'm guessing the next time that Shinra and Sho do officially see each other again, and maybe that's when Shinra's finally going to take him back, um, he's not going to be the Shinra baby boy talking on his own. He's just still going to be controlled, like a puppet and such. But I'm glad that we were able to get Lisa out, because even though the shit that I said several weeks ago, I was still hoping that they got her out, but they did. I think it's just going to take a little while just for her to be mm, in a way warmed up to not only Valkon because of the fact that she's been um controlled or manipulated by Giovanni for such a long time and even though she was with Valkon for maybe it seems like for not not as long but maybe a short amount of time and she has a relationship with him it just seems like it, and it was even shown in the last few episodes that you know the shit that uh, Giovanni has over her is, like, dead-ass fucking serious. And it gives me so many feels towards um, Overhaul and Eddie time. And the way he has his hold over Eddie. And it's just, like, shit. Like, no matter. I feel like even if they kill Giovanni, like... I mean, we only got one fucking episode left. So, of course, that ain't gonna happen. But, you know, when it does predominantly come back next year, um, let's say in the second half of the show, they kill him before the show ends. And we get into what this could, because, like, I'm still considering this season one and then the next to be season two. Um, let's say in, like, season three, whatever, um, she's still trying to um, get away of that control or the shit that Giovanni has over her. And that's going to be the hardest thing that she's going to have to get over because she is really, really hurt by that. And you can just, the her body language... Her facial expressions is the the way that she acts. It's all because of him and his hold over her. And so for her to completely come back into her own and to not be controlled by someone or held down by someone, it's going to be a little while until she feels normal again. Because that's just something I feel like is going to happen to her. But, she, you know, she's going to have help from Valkon and everyone else. But, yeah. Go ahead and pause the video and I will see you guys in one second for the final episode. Okay, last episode in three, two, one, go. Go lay down. Hello? 
know, I thought we were going to see them fight, but no. Okay. I know. Yeah. Be more happy. <laughs> what <laughs> Well, damn, honestly, I wasn't assuming that they were going to play the opening one last time, but okay, that's okay. Mm. But still, I really don't like the way that last episode ended. You automatically think, but no, they could still show it, but I'm just going to say this shit now. With <laughs> them talking, I wanted to know a lot of stuff. I thought he was going to explain to him as much as he knew. But no, but like with the fact is we're only really four minutes into this episode. It's a possibility that the caption from one can still, excuse me, in a flashback, excuse me again, talk to Shimmer. What else happened on that day? But who knows? There we go.
Oh shit. That's him getting warmed up. I don't want to see him. <laughs> Any other time, shit. He felt it back then, didn't you? There's no way in Hashim is going to be able to defeat Burns like. Uh. Seriously, what the fuck? Mm -mm. Oh. And so they kept watching over them until the time was right. Kidnap show. Mm. Then it was that demon. Not only your brother, but your mom.
Now that makes sense. So I always wonder that. your mom Dude, this girl might be like <laughs> where the freaking Hemi go. Oh my god. What oh, shit? She truly is, but you know, that's okay. She must have took him underground. protect you. Yeah.
Like I said, presumably she had to go underground with him. Just really the glasses. <laughs> it's possible. Mm -hmm. I kind of figured that was going to happen. You really going to end it on that? Are you serious? Okay. Okay, go ahead. That's fine. That's fine. I'm even mad. I thought they would show, like, maybe a little bit more. Because it's, like, there's three minutes left. Who oh, is? <laughs> okay, hold up. Okay. But, like, final thoughts in the first half of the show, I did enjoy it. It still left me with a lot of unanswered questions. But because of the fact that this show isn't returning until summer, I was predominantly assuming this morning when I woke up. And I was going to watch the episodes, but I had to go somewhere. I was assuming that it was going to come out in April, just like everything else. And I thought, okay, that's fine. But then I saw it, it said summer. And I was like, you know what? That's okay. I can wait longer for it. Do whatever the hell you got to do for it. But to know that that infernal was his mother and that both his mother and his mother are both alive. I mean, it's not really shocking. I think around the time when we found out that show was alive, I, I had a weird feeling that his mom could also be alive too in some weird way. And then I got my answers, but there's still a lot of unanswered questions with this show. I hope that with the second half of this series, especially with the situation of Arthur and Shinra, like they, they do some more backstory on them. I mean, in the beginning, like they did a couple of episodes, but I, I still think there's a whole bunch more. There's a lot that they can still do with this show. And Whatever the hell they do, it's just going to be good. And I enjoyed it for what it was. It was a damn good show. I just want more of my baby show. <laughs> mm. <laughs> and even the things that I said in the previous episode, I meant that too. Guys, you're such idiots. You're gonna like cut yourself.
Oh. <laughs> Victor, what the fuck? That's <laughs> eh, okay. I'm about to probably get old stuff. Mm hmm we deserve that. Oh, that looks so good. Damn, they already eat. <laughs> Oh my god, that was so cute. But okay, I am glad that Burns finally, after 20-something episodes, explained everything that I needed to know. But I don't know. I feel like maybe he has some more things to tell Shinra, but possibly whatever it is. We ain't going on until summer. Whatever else is gonna happen next, we ain't going on until fucking summer. I mean... I would say, oh, I want to read the fucking manga, but then at the same time, I don't because, one, I ain't really got that much time. I'm, like, busy as hell, and next year, I want to be even more fucking busy, so. But, I mean, whatever happens, the shit on Lisa, learning more of the truth about, you know, Shinra's brother and his mother, anything else, I really want to see, what else do I want to see in the second half of the show? Um... Maybe a backstory on Maki. Yes, mm -hmm. definitely a backstory on Maki because we got a little bit between um, Hina's story with Obi because she was mentioned in it, but she wasn't in it as much. So I'm hoping that she gets something. Maybe, you know, because Iris got her. Because I think the only, yeah, Maki would be the only one. Same thing with Tamaki, even though technically she's not really a part of the group, essentially, but in a way she is. Um, and then maybe anything else, like, Shit, I would love to know more about Obi. I like with the shit that Hina with Hina's backstory and learning about not only Maki, a little bit of Maki, a little bit of Obi, but it was predominantly Hina. I still want something on Obi, Maki, and then anyone else who didn't really get a flashback story montage for us to know about because there's still a lot of unanswered questions with any other character in this series. So I'm hoping that they just do them justice because. Going into it, I think, like, from the beginning of the show, I was immediately thinking, like, 20, 24 episodes in. I was like, okay, is everybody going to get it? No, probably not. Um, They're going to focus on as much as they can. But, I mean, yeah, do whatever you got to do with these characters. I just, I don't want to go into summer 2020 and then we're all good. And then by the end of the series, like, somebody gets killed off. I don't want any of these characters to get killed off. I do want them to eventually find out that Victor is, you know, a traitor. He's flip-flopping for reasons, you know, I hope they do find that out because, I mean, come on, it's so fucking obvious. But, like, to us, it's the person who's watching it, but to them, no, it isn't. So I hope and pray that they do find out soon. I hope that Lisa gets the help that she needs from Valkon and the rest of the group and then whatever else freaking happens. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view to it. I'm really kind of just going to say it like the season one finale or the mid-season finale of Fire Force. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Matchless Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next week for winter 2020 anime and then later on in the year for summer 20 anime. 2020 anime for the second half of this series but until then i will see you guys all next time bye